Hey everyone, this is Andrew Tsai and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we're going to be looking at the new SteamOS Beta 3.2 update, which brings a feature that people have been asking for for a really long time, which is support for refresh rate switching. So today I'm going to show you how to get into the 3.2 Beta update and also how to make use of this feature, as well as showcase some of the other features from the 3.2 update. If you haven't subscribed already, then please consider subscribing. It only takes a moment to do and you'll be able to keep up to date with the latest gaming news. So now I'm going to show you how to update the Steam Deck to the latest Steam Beta. So all we need to do is to press the Steam button here. Then we're going to go to the Settings section. Then we're going to click on System. And this is the menu for all of the system updates and also beta participation. So under beta participation here, we're going to change the OS update from stable and change this to beta. And once that's done, it's going to do a refresh and check for any new updates. And it's found the new beta update. So in order to apply this, I'm going to press apply. So just a word of warning, if you're installing beta software onto the Steam Deck, this is going to be buggy non-release software. So you might encounter some issues that you're not going to encounter on the stable release. But on the outside, you might get some cool new features on the Steam beta, which you won't get on the stable release. So to update this, I want to press the apply button now. And then this is going to apply the update. And this is giving us an estimated time. So now that the update has downloaded, we're going to press the restart button in order to apply the new beta patch. So now that we've just logged in again, I'm going to press the Steam button. I'm going to go to Settings, and then we're going to go to System. So we can scroll down here, and we can see that we're on the OS version 3.2 beta, which is an upgrade over the 3.1 stable release that we had earlier. So this is the beta version of the software. So now I'm going to show you how to change the refresh rate of game on SteamOS. So I'm going to press the Quick Action menu here, and then we're going to go to the battery icon, and then we've got our frame rate limit settings here. We've got a new section here called Refresh Rate. So normally you want to reduce the frame rate limits to get better battery life. So if I turn it down to 30, then our battery life is going to increase correspondingly, and we're probably going to get a lot more battery out of it. However, when we do this, our frame time goes to 33 milliseconds, which is a little bit higher, and also 30 frames per second is a little bit jerkier as well. However, we now have the option to change the frame rate to say 40, and the screen will flicker for a moment. We don't have to do any restarting, and this applies to any game. And as you can see, if I change the frame rate limit to 40, the frame time will go to 25 milliseconds, which is lower than the frame time of 30 milliseconds at 60 hertz. And this is going to give a smoother experience. And furthermore, 40 frames per second is going to feel a lot smoother than 30 frames per second. And you might not want to go all the way to 60, even though that's going to be the best experience possible, just because it's going to drain much more of your battery life. So here we're getting a frame time of 25 milliseconds, which feels a lot better than 33 milliseconds. And also the fact that the screen refresh rate is tied to the frame rate means that this whole thing feels really smooth. And the feature works great in a game like Elden Ring, which is never going to hit 60 frames per second anyway. And so the refresh rate and the frame rate limit of 40 is going to give smooth gameplay and better frame times without sacrificing too much battery life as well. I couldn't get this feature to work in every single game. For example, this is Final Fantasy VII Remake, a non-Steam game, of course. And I've changed the refresh rate down to 40. And I've tried to change the frame limit to 40. However, it's still reporting a frame rate of 60 FPS. PS. So this isn't working for this particular game, however it's working for most Steam games at the moment. So another cool feature is that the virtual keyboard will now pop up whenever you have text input when you're on desktop mode. So just going to demonstrate this for you now. If I go to the Discover Center and I tap on the search bar here, then it does actually take a little bit of time for that virtual keyboard to pop up. I feel like the desktop mode is still a little bit half-baked, and it's a little bit annoying that this takes so long to come up. But it's cool that they've added this feature. It just takes a bit of time to actually work. It's nowhere near the usability of something like a smartphone or a tablet. It is meant to be designed for advanced users only, who hopefully have a bit more patience. So another cool feature of the beta is that Valve have added a new fan control curve, especially made for lower-end usage. So if you're playing a low-end game, for example, Slay the Spire here, then we're going to get better fan control. So hopefully this is going to help those people who have one of the more annoying louder fans on the Steam Deck, and that the fan comes on less when we're playing lower end games like this. So if you ever want to go back to the stable release, all you have to do is reverse the beta participation. We just go to Settings, and then we go to System, and then we change the OS update channel back to Stable, and then it's going to show the latest 3.1 update. So it's not a huge commitment to try out the beta. You can just revert back to the stable release whenever you like. So anyway, it's cool that Valve are bringing all of these new features and listening to all the user feedback. I'm definitely going to be trying out the beta 3.2 and testing it over the days to come. If you do try out the beta, then please leave a comment and let me know what your experience has been like and what games work and don't work with the refresh rate. If you like the video, please like, please subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.